everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Today is Saturday, November 7th, and on this post, we're going to be talking about the overall crypto markets, Bitcoin price action, altcoin price action, and of course, ICON, ICX, USD, how that could be affected by the overall markets. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my bullish and bearish case scenario, as well as the short-term price prediction, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me. If you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe as I'll be keeping you guys updated on the latest crypto setups, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. Now, if you guys want to support me and don't already have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down in the video description section below. They're still giving away three free stocks upon a successful signup and a qualifying deposit. And I will also receive bonus stocks after you finish your setup. And I truly appreciate that. Also, read my disclaimer below as I'm not a financial advisor and it's not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market. I cannot tell the future, so you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing. If you guys have any questions, comments, only leave them in the comment section below. I will not get to all the messages in my inbox, but let me know what symbols you guys are trading, following. I can see if I can share my opinions and analysis on those symbols. Now let's take a look exactly what's going on in the market first. First things first, I like to take a look at Bitcoin dominance that tells me where the money is flowing. Is it flowing into Bitcoin? Is it flowing into altcoins? Or is it flowing into neither? Now we're currently at about 64.8%. We just had a daily candle close right now. Uh, seems that we're staying at about the same spot, but a little too early to tell. So we're going to see what Bitcoin dominance does. But Bitcoin dominance did have a pretty significant break, uh, breakout earlier this week, uh, about that 65% level. So if it continues going that direction, I would expect most of the action would be in Bitcoin. But that is not to say, while sometimes, occasionally, when Bitcoin dominance trends down or have pullbacks, that could also have the money flow back into the altcoins as well. So. You know, it's more about probabilities, but seeing Bitcoin dominance, first things first, would give me a measurement of what the market may be doing. Now, let's take a look at Bitcoin action, price action itself. Bitcoin price action right now is about 14,750, slightly down uh, from just earlier today. And of course, after it has hit its resistance at about 16K, which I have been mentioning, it had been supported though by um, the lower 14k level so that does show me there's quite a bit of support down there and buyers ready to take action at about the 14k level as of today so i'm going to be keeping an eye out on bitcoin because any movements in bitcoin could affect how i trade the altcoins take a look now at total altcoin market cap which is currently about 149 billion dollars as long as we stay above this level that I keep mentioning in my past post, which is the weekly 21 simple moving average, in my opinion, I think we are still on a very uptrend uh, for both altcoins and of course, Bitcoin as well. Now let's take a look at ICX itself. So what has ICX been doing? I'm on, I'm on the monthly chart right now because that does seem like uh, we are getting supported at basically the last moving average that is available on a major time frame so as we can see here we are getting a, uh, supported by the monthly 21 simple moving average so as long as we stay above this 21 simple moving average on this time frame in my opinion we are still on an uptrend for icx another thing i do also want to point out is that since we had hit what looks like a bottom here about 0.1 0.11 uh, we had been making higher highs and higher lows. So that is another confirmation that we are still on an uptrend here. Uh, so we, we're going to see if this trend continues. But on the RSI, even on the monthly, we are still on pretty low territory. So that gives me an opinion that we are more likely to go up. But we can't just judge only purely based on uh, the RSI itself. Like I said, the other things I'm looking out for would be if we continue to make this higher highs and higher low trend, and of course, staying above this monthly 21 simple moving average. Now let's take a look at what is going on on the lower timeframes and see where the next 
resistance can come from. So on the weekly time frame, we have been also supported by uh, the three day 50 simple moving average, which is the white line right here. So pretty in line with uh, about the same level of the monthly 21 simple moving average around that range. And the weekly 21 simple moving average here is about 0.42. And then on the three day, um, a lot of the moving averages are actually consolidated about the 0 0.41 level. And on the daily time frame, this would conclude all my uh, major time frame charts that I'll be looking at, interested in looking at. So all the, uh, the other moving averages are actually about 0.38. So in my opinion, like I said, in order for us to continue on an uptrend, I would like to see price action to be above all moving averages on any certain time frame. And of course, in this scenario, I am interested in the time frames that are um, in the longer time frames because I want to know if we're still on a macro level uptrend. So, based on the charts that we are seeing now, we are, especially by looking at the monthly charts. But in order for us to continue, we do have to get above some of these other major moving averages, even on the smaller time frames. But they're still pretty important time frames because they are considered as larger time frames. So above 0.42 will actually be the resistance to beat and the price level to beat for us to get price action above all these major time frames. So that is my bullish case scenario is for price action to get above 0.42 put us back on top of all these major time frames uh, and the moving averages on these major time frames. So that is the bullish case scenario. Price action comes back to about 0.42 level, and then we could probably see uh, start seeing more bullish price action on these time frames, uh, which is what matters to me. But on the bearish case scenario, of course, we have to consider both the bullish and bearish case scenarios uh, just in case uh, if one happens and something does not go as, as expected, I can just act logically as planned. So the bearish case scenario here obviously is we actually break down below this monthly 21 simple moving average, and then we will actually be um, we are actually under all moving averages on this monthly time frame. That would look bad for me on the monthly time frame and of course on the overall macro level. So that is basically a very simple bearish case scenario. If this monthly candle does not hold and it closes below the monthly 21 simple moving average. Now this concludes my very short analysis on ICON, ICX on the macro level. You guys let me know if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know your thoughts, feedback, agreements, disagreements. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you guys manage your risk carefully and see you next time.